So I got a lot of comments asking how and if they could join the Lifesteal SMP. So I figured I'd tell you how I joined and give you some advice. It started shortly after I hit 100,000 subscribers because when you hit 100,000, you get this really cool verification check mark next to your username, which means you get way more likes on your comments than anybody else. I mentioned this in a video and got a comment from this guy named Parrot agreeing with me. So I figured I'd check out his channel. What I found was this super dope video where a server admin was abusing commands while, while parrot tried to stop this and he had this like super dope scene in his video where two players got him in this obsidian box he was he was at a loss parrot was gonna die the video was going in a bad direction but at the moment when all seemed lost parrot's friend pulled a pearl stasis chamber which means he teleported away from danger and lived to save the day oh gosh um thanks i I was not gonna win that fight. I thought this was the coolest thing ever. So when I got a friend request from him on Discord, I immediately accepted. Now this is where I think he hatched a plan to get me on the Lifesteal server. He invited me to do this video where a hundred fans tried to like murder us. The event was super fun. That video actually never aired, but when, <laughs> when he invited me to do that video, he said, hey, join this server so we can talk. Little did I know, it was the official Lifesteal Discord server. I was already in Lifesteal without even knowing it. So I started getting these messages from people uh, saying like, Hey, I'm super glad you're on Lifesteal. It's going to be really fun to play with you. I had no intentions to play, so I would just say, Sorry, I, I kind of just got invited to this event. Um, <laughs> sorry to let you down. Eventually, though, he convinced me, saying, You don't have to join for that long. You can stay for literally one day. So the plan <laughs> was for me to play for one day, but I joined and had so much fun that I'm here two seasons later. Now, let me tell you about my first PvP fight on Lifesteal, then I'll finish with some advice on how to join. It was just about a day into the server, and I had met up with this group of people who called themselves the Poggies. Their mission was to get get more hearts. Unfortunately, uh, this guy named Clown Pierce had gone and stolen some of the hearts they were planning to take. So their mission was to now kill Clown Pierce. And they, they had asked me, hey, do you want to come help us 4v1 this dude? And I thought, sure, how hard could it be? But we got absolutely dogged up, as Spoke would say. Clown Pierce took the 4v1 and obliterated all of us in a matter of minutes. I finished that fight being dumbfounded. I was expecting to go in there, clap him up, get that heart, and be done with it. So I searched up this guy's channel. I was like, who the heck is Clown Beers? How is he doing this? I saw videos about 32 V2s, about 6 V1s. He would just obliterate everybody, and I could do nothing about it. This is when I became a Clown Pierce stan. <laughs> I wanted to get a little bit better at PvP. Hey, what are you doing, sir? Oh, uh, let's see if I can win this. See, you know, just watching Clown Pierce, that made me win that fight. It set me on a, a trajectory for the whole rest of the season of Lifesteal. I wanted to kill Clown Pierce, which led me to create traps, and that's how I got known for doing traps and stuff. But I can't tell you how devastated I was after losing there. It happened so quick. I, I mean, I had no idea what I was doing, but I couldn't believe it. Now, that story was a bit short, so I'm going to talk about my experience with high school dances for a minute, and we'll finish with some advice on how to join Lifesteal. I picked up, like, four dance moves from high school. I was never much of a dancer. I had the chicken dance, the Macarena, and the conga line. The conga line, hands down, most legendary dancers. Although, Macarena is pretty close because it literally tells you how to dance. It's like, put your hands on your head and then spin around. Honestly, can't remember. But it was my mission to start a conga line at every single dance. One of these times, though, I had some trouble asking a girl to the dance. It was winter, so it was already cold. We had to, like, wipe off the snow off of our windshields. Now, when you ask somebody to a high school dance, you have to do a couple things. You need to make a poster. You need to doorbell ditch them, leave that poster on the doorstep, and it needs to have a corny joke. And then if they say yes, they'll respond with a poster that says yes and maybe a corny joke as well. For this particular dance, I was going to have something about light. Since it was a Christmas dance, I'm gonna kill this person! It was uh, going to be something like, will you light my way and go to this dance with me? I don't really remember, it does, it's not important. The problem is I needed to plug in these lights for the poster to work. So I arrived at her doorstep at like 11.30 or something. My heart was racing, there's not much uh, more intense things you can do as a high schooler than ask somebody to a dance. But I had to locate an outlet next to like her garage or something. I plugged in the lights, Guess what happened? The, the outlet didn't work. 
the, 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 there was no power to the lights. My plan was foiled. I, I wasn't going to be able to ask this girl on a dance to the dance. Thankfully, this was one of my first dances I'd been to, and I was with, my mom had drove me. She said, hey, uh, let's just have me go up to the doorstep. I'll ask her parents if I can plug in this light. And I was like, no, no, that would just be so weird. What? There was no other option, though. So I caved in. I sat back in the car, just trying to ignore everything. She went up to the doorstep. My date's parents answered, and, you know, we got the lights all set up. It was totally fine. She said yes. We went to the dance together, and I started a conga line at that dance. You know, it was pretty sweet. I gotta say, very fun. Speaking of dances, though, you see this skin that I have right here? I didn't used to have this skin, and it's because of dancing, specifically dancing in Minecraft. I had this really stupid idea to make a video about the different dance moves you can do in Minecraft. You know, like, like the crouch, the nod of the head. It was a really stupid video, but I wanted a skin for this video, a bright skin at that. So I used to have this like black and blue uh, sweatshirt. For the video though, I added all these yellow and orange dots to make it a little bit brighter. But after I made the video, I was like, you know what? I've had this skin for a really long time and it's a lot cooler with these brighter colors and I just decided to stick with it. So if you ever look at my, my skin and thinking like that is the coolest skin ever, well, just thank the dance moves. I would also say, if you are considering going to a high school dance, definitely go for it. It was some of the most fun I'd had at high school. It can definitely be scary, don't get me wrong, but think about it this way. If you were to get asked to a dance, you would probably feel really good about yourself. So give that feeling to somebody else. Make themselves feel good. You'll have a fun time, I promise. It'll be scary, yeah, that's for sure, but I think some of the most fun things in life are scary. So, if you are wanting to join Lifesteal, here's what I say. It's in reference to Exuma about joining Hermitcraft. I really like what he said. Go make your own Hermitcraft, and by that, I mean, go make your own lifesteal. You don't have to play on the original lifesteal. The point of lifesteal is to have a place where you hang out with friends, and you don't have to do that with us. You can find a group of friends yourself. I'm not saying copy the lifesteal premise. I'm saying get with a group of friends and do something together. And if you don't have friends, join a Discord server, reach out to people. It might be a little bit weird at first, but you can do it. I'm confident in you, and you'll probably have a lot of fun. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you later.